Second down and four. Argos, they're 25. They lead 7-3. Five and a half minutes left. Second quarter. That sold out Winnipeg Stadium. Renfro to Daryl Smith. Good catch. First down. Argo 31-yard line. Really good catch. Renfro's getting pressure, but the, his size and his poise back there. You watch Delbert Fowler, outside linebacker, take his drop and try to control and, and feel where Smith is. That little slip right there and a great adjustment by Smith makes the catch. There goes with Mike Riley, the rookie head coach of the Blue Bombers, looking on. First and 10, Toronto 30 and a half. Renfro is going to take off with the ball, and he'll get out to the 37 or 38-yard line, and he got popped as he hit the turf, but he's okay. You know, the Argos have really, we talk about the sellout factor, the Argos have taken the crowd out of this game. Well, that's one great way to the silent the, the hometown crowd, and that's what players work for. If you want to shut them up quick, you score. Second down and three. Renfro and the Argos at their 38-yard line. Renfro, quick drop, man open. Pearson to the 50 to center field into the Bomber 54-yard line. And once again, the fans at Winnipeg Stadium have nothing to get excited about. Paul Pearson, the native of Campbell River, B.C., comes out into the flat. He's coming from the inside spot. Seems like the secondary got tied up with Gene Thomas. There's no one out there. The linebacker or halfback to come up in the coverage never made it there or made it there too late. Toronto offense doing quite a job in the second quarter. That was a 23-yard gain. First and 10 now, Winnipeg 54. Fennerty was grabbed by Pradanovic. He's able to slip away from him and get maybe a yard or two. seen Doug Landry at a loss for words about anything. Well, interesting story about Landry, Benny Thompson, and Gil Fennerty. They're, they all grew up together in New Orleans. They're boyhood buddies. Well, Landry and, the Ar Landry and the Argos have lots to feel good about now. They're leading on second down and nine. Thomas, the intended receiver that time, with the pass beyond his reach. And the Argos will face a third and long and have to punt it away. You look at that play and you say, well, not a successful play, but it was. Thomas was to the outside. He was by Roy Bennett. The halfback couldn't come over in time. You keep threatening and you keep working at that secondary.